Okay, here's the plot of land. It's 320 feet by 240 feet. And we're going to build a factory in the middle of that plot such that we have a lawn of uniform width surrounding the factory. So this is kind of the diagram. Uh, this black area here is the factory. And its dimensions have to be 320 take away 2x each of the sides of the lawn on the left and the right and by 240 minus 2x. So the area of the factory is represented by the expression 320 minus 2x times 240 minus 2x length times width. The area of the green region is the entire area subtract the area of the factory. And those two regions have to be equal in area. So here's what we've got. This is an expression that represents the area of the factory. 240 minus 2x, 320 minus 2x. The green area is the entire area. That's 240 times 320. Take away the area of the factory. So there's your equation that models the situation. We have to solve this for x. So I haven't multiplied anything together. Uh, this is, this term right here is identical to this one. So if I add this term to both sides, I'll have two of them. And instead of distributing this two, I'm going to try to make it as simple, simpler by dividing. So I divided both sides by 2, I divided this 320 by 2 to get 160, and of course this 2 canceled out. Then I factored a 2 out of each of these factors, which gave me a factor of 4 sitting out here, and I divided both sides by 4. And that's where I got this 160 divided by 4 is 40. And of course, if I factor out a minus one from each of these binomials, so I'll get a plus one out here, and I'll get this looking like this. <clears throat> Finally, if I multiply 40 times 240, I get 9,600. And if I use FOIL to multiply these two terms, or two factors together, I get x squared minus 280x plus 1920. Subtract 9,600 from both sides, I get this. Uh, finding the factors of this trinomial, the binomial factors, took a little bit of work. It's probably easier just to graph the function f of x equals x squared minus 280x plus 9600 and see where they cross the x-axis. But there's the values. So x equals 40 or x equals or x equals 240. But we have to reject the 240 in the context of the problem because we don't have enough uh, uh, measure on the side, this side of the lot to subtract 240 you know, from both twice. Same for the 320. Okay, so, but if you do put 40 in for x, you can calculate the dimensions of the lot and calculate the area, the green area, and you'll see that they are equal, okay? So there you go. Hope that helped. There's other ways to get from here to here, but this is one way, okay? So if you have any questions, post a comment.